Okay, so happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to another exciting Hangout session here at the Innovation Lab at R Square Media. So as far as like uh, icebreaker questions, so far, who has asked an icebreaker question? Can you guys, I don't know, like raise your hands or something so I know who's asked? Okay. Okay, uh, Abigail, do you wanna take a stab at the icebreaker question? I mean, I can. Um, I'll go with something simple. What is y'all's favorite dog breed or just animal of dogs? Like what's your favorite kind? That's good. That's good. So the rule is the person that asks the question goes first and then they pick the next person and that and that's called passing the popcorn. Okay. Uh, my favorite would probably be like a German Shepherd. And I'll pass the popcorn to um, uh, Anastasia. Okay, but before Anastasia answers, Abigail, why German Shepherd? So you got to like tell us a little bit about like whatever your choice is so we can, so we know the backstory, you know? They're super sweet. They're pretty, I think they're pretty loyal. My sister has one. Um, and they're usually very big. They're very soft, very cuddly. They also kick you off the bed, but um, yeah. <laughs> usually they're loyal. For a moment, I thought you were talking about a person. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's hilarious. That is hilarious. But I thought German Shepherds were kind of like ferocious, right? No, they're not? I guess not the way my sister raised her dog. Um, mm. I don't know. <laughs> nah, it depends on how you... It depends on like if you socialize them and train them properly at, a early, at an early age. I, it, the same goes for like what for 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 uh, the same goes for what for rottweilers hmm. like if you train them and socialize them they could be very like adorable oh okay interesting yeah my sister's dog is half rottweiler half german shepherd and she's definitely not ferocious at all so interesting very interesting <laughs> Good to know. anyway sorry for that little interrupt in here anastasia please go ahead um, I think my favorite breed is a pit bull because I just kind of feel bad for them because they're really cute and they're honestly, they most of the time are really sweet, but they have like a really negative stigma around them just because a select few are vicious, but that's just because the way they're like their own, like pit bulls are only vicious if the owner treats them bad. So it's not the pit bull's fault. And I just, I feel bad for them. Because they're really sweet most of the time, and people like hate them for no reason. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So, like, so Anastasia, I, I gotta ask you, like, do you have a dog, and is that dog a pit bull? I have two dogs. And yeah, are one they of pit them. One of them, I think we have no idea what he is. He's a we got him from the shelter. He's a mutt, but he, I feel like he has, he kind of looks like a pit bull. So I feel like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you gotta pick who goes next. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, I'll popcorn it to Rucha. Um, uh, my dog is a border collie, so I feel like I have to say border collie. Why is he listening? No. <laughs> is oh, he yeah, listening he's in the room right now? Okay. <laughs> um, I'll popcorn it to Devin. I'm torn between either Border Collie because of the intelligence and the Alaskan Malamute because, well, sled dog. Me being like half Norwegian, I didn't grow up with a lot of snow, but I've experienced Norwegian winters quite a bit. And uh, I figure a Malamute would actually be really handy in, in snowy conditions like that. So wait, so is a Malamute kind of like a husky or is it big? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or... It's it's basically like a husky except way bigger. 
and way and and way furrier as well. Like oh. they are they are bred for being sled dogs and being very warm in frigid conditions. Interesting. So that means they're strong too. I I, I imagine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The pups are honestly adorable. Wow. Nice. Yep. 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 Uh, I'll pass to Nick. Um, I'd probably say either like a pit bull or a golden retriever. I I I I mean I mean I mean because like um uh, my 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 uncle has like a rescue. Uh, like he has a rescue. She's a pit bull named Penny. And yeah, you know, like like she, like she 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 you know you know you know and and but you know you know like very sweet very you know you know you know she you know she's very sweet very well behaved and you know you know she'll sit there and you know just you know she, you know you know you know she you know you know she's very calm and will just kind of like sit there so you can I I I I I mean I mean I I I mean I think he she's a therapy dog actually. Cool. In fact, I he was he was training her to be a therapy dog. I think they often have like uh, crosses between retrievers and pit bulls, right? Because their head is almost a similar shape, kind of thing. I think so. Yeah. Interesting. So, who are you going to popcorn it to? I'll pass it to Kyle. So, I'm torn between standard poodles because that's what I've had all my life, and Borzois because they look really dopey and i just think they're really funny wait wait what's the second one a borzoi it's what a, is that so they got a really long nose and that's what's funny you do something they look at you and they, they're just funny they everything they do just it, it looks not normal oh wow i gotta but, know what this is kyle so your like immediate like homework is to post a picture or video of the dog that he mentioned in the WhatsApp so all of us can find out what it is. All right, I'll find one. And then the standard poodles, they're just because I've had them my whole life. Yeah, poodles are like supposed to be like real intelligent. And in fact, I I heard somebody like, or I think there's there are these two dogs that live on my street. Like I've seen people, the owner of the dog walker walk them. And I think it's I think they're a cross between a poodle and a like a white labrador and they're like this really they kind of look like a labrador but that but they're like taller i think and have like a similar i think their fur is also like a <laughs> a, a nice uh in between uh, of like the labrador fur and the poodle fur you know so they kind of have that fluffiness to it but then also like they're kind of long as well it could be a standard poodle that that's what I got. The, the small poodles might be intelligent in my experience. The standard ones aren't. All of mine have been pretty stupid, but they're they're nice. So uh, <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> okay. Um I'll pass it to Louis. Please. Yeah. Um. Normally, I would have said German Shepherd, but recently, I'd say probably Porgy actually, because they're just so funny when they like run around and stuff with their little stumpy legs, and then when they try like jumping, they get like an inch off the ground, and they like stick their legs out like they're gonna go far. So, I probably say Porgies, and then uh, I'll pass it to you, Rajiv. Thank you, thank you, Lewis. Uh, yeah. So as far as you know, like my like. Favorite dog. I mean, I've had like a like I'm like super fascinated with huskies, but I just like love their eyes. And I'm just I wish I, I had eyes like those, you know, to be honest. Uh but then you know, somebody asked me this earlier, and I was like, you know, one of my like fantasies, like I don't know, call it a daydream, call it a fantasy, call it a whatever. Uh, but one of my fantasies is to like just <laughs> go somewhere, like somewhere, anywhere. Like go to the park or go somewhere or maybe somewhere close to a wilderness and then out of the wilderness comes this little pup and that pup turns out to be a wolf like a timber wolf or something you know and then my best friends and everything and and it's like i, I just like love the idea of having a wolf because it's well a lot bigger and i think a lot 
they, they are like pretty intelligent as well and they have that you know they are a predator so they do have that kind of like killer instinct so to speak and you know I, I would love to tell someone you know when I'm walking and this of course in, in this is my fantasy I'm walking this is a super well-trained animal and totally gets me and you know knows exactly what to do and everything uh <laughs> I'm walking into like a some place and, and the person says excuse me sir no dogs allowed and then I say it's not a dog it's a wolf <laughs> and I just feel like one of my like the most random fantasy ever right but but yeah hey ho so that is my answer I'm sticking to it and um Abigail that was an epic question thank you for that thank you so Again, people, that's an example of a question done well. Of course, that's not to say that the earlier questions weren't epic questions. They were all epic, but I'm just saying, you know, just as a continuing you know, example of a question we can all have fun with. Okay, so picture time. Let's take a quick picture to commemorate this joyous occasion. So on the card of three, let's put our poly wise on display. Oh, one, two, three. Okay, awesome. Hopefully that turned out okay. I will confirm momentarily. Just give me a sec. Oh, that was a great picture. Yeah, it was a great picture. Awesome. Mm. Okay, so I guess.